winners of uh, last year's Rugby World Cup 7s in 2009 was Wales. Now we have the runners-up of 2009, Argentina against Portugal. And Argentina have a terrific record, really, over the Rugby World Cup uh, years. They were cup final runners-up last year. They were cup semi-finals in 2001. They were cup quarters in 2005. Surprise here is uh, the fact that the captain, Nicolas Brazzoni, who has been outstanding, I thought, all this season and uh, in the opening game, he's not on the starting lineup. And for Portugal, well, of course, they've been a uh, qualifier right through the HSBC this season and uh, will, of course, be in it next season as well. And uh, one particular moment, of course, is that you will see that the black band on the shirts here because of the the death of one of their great friends and a rugby player amongst the Portuguese players, Jose Maria Cortezo, 29-year-old, who died just two days ago. Well, Ben, what do you think about Argentina? I mean, we know, we know they can uh, suddenly bring something out of nothing, can't they? You know, they haven't been particularly exceptional this season, but last time in Dubai in the 2009, they did well. They did, and they're a team that aren't full of superstars, not necessarily recognisable names, but they're a team that works well together. And they're a, they're a team that also defend well, they get over the breakdown, they cause a lot of problems for the opposition. But in attack as well, deceptively they're quick and they have good ball players. They've got great footballers in this side. I remember you with the players like uh, Pablo and Santiago Gomez Cora and uh, Lucio Lopez Lemming and Morello, of course, who's uh, already been in the Rugby World Cup 7s in 2009. He's the one left in this team. Referee here from New Zealand is James McPhail. Well, Argentina had a great start against Hong Kong, 47 to 7. Portugal lost to England, 7 to 21. So those are the other two teams that are in this pool F. Awkward uh, bounce there. Comes back into the hands of Argentina. And Valentin Cruz captured there. It's interesting because Portugal, they were frustrated yesterday with their performance. I, talking to Pedro Leal, he was hoping that they would actually get a closer score with England. I think they know that in times past, they pushed them right to the wire. So they'll be looking for a win. And if it does, it completely opens up this group. Kimal, that guy is Pedro Leal. Absolutely uh, exciting little player. Popcorn, they call him. He's been playing for nine years with Portugal in the sevens. And he's played in the 2005 and the 2009, and he's played in the 15s as well. And of course, so many of these Portugal players play both the sevens in the World Cups and the 15s as well. And here's Leal again, into the hands of De Amelde, wide from Betancourt. But into the face, aren't they, Argentina? Yeah, they like to apply a lot of pressure and that they often known as a pack of wolves because they just don't leave you alone. They'll tackle, tackle, tackle. If you're going to score against Argentina, they'll make you work all the way to the try line. There's Leal again into the hands of Miranda. Betancourt, good play, good support. De Almeida into the hands of Moreira. Moreira's there. That's the first try, Portugal. Portugal just being patient there with ball in hand, and that's one of the keys to this. If you keep it for long enough, you're going to run out of defenders. And in Argentina's case, this is what happened. But quality of finish, Portugal looking confident. Poor effort on the uh, tackle there. Duarte Moreira from Belenenses. Experienced side, this is Portugal. He's played 20 times in the HSBC series. Despite the experience, they're still quite a young average age, just about 24. So, nice start. Conversion just 
drift off. And of course, this has been the first season for them to be professional players. And look at that, 13 passes for Portugal, just the one for Argentina. Well, it's all having the ball, isn't it? And it's a lot of that defensive work that takes takes it out of you. Argentina want to get this and keep hold of it. Argentina have it this time anyway. Valentin Cruz, the man with the ball there, he can't hold on too long. And uh, well held up. Ball and play ball. In fact, it was Diego Palma there who was holding on too long. Put in for Portugal. One of the youngsters there, you'll see Miguel Lucas, number 12. He's only 19 year old. In the forwards there. Into the hands of De Melder. Betancourt. Good support here. De Melder again. Gonzalo Foro, one of the really experienced players who's played 37 times for Portugal in the internationals tournaments. Lucas doing well again here. I think he may just have got it back with Betancourt. They have. Portugal again. They're dominating at the moment. Gonzalo Foro. Foro is an overman here. Here's the chance. Moreira again, he, he's skipped out of the tackle. Try number two. Portugal here, but what I like, they've recognised that to play Argentina, you want to play away from the breakdown. And they're keeping ball in hand and they're offloading just before contact, which is opening up this defence. And unfortunately for Argentina, when they did have an opportunity to keep the ball, they got it turned over, which is numbers down and Portugal have exploited it out wide well again look at the passes completed 21 to Portugal 4 to Argentina that's what it's all about possession of the ball Pin. and totally dominated by Portugal so far hardly have Argentina been out of their own half and the conversion is good as well 12 to nil. The score is Argentina nil, Portugal 12. It's quite incredible if you look at the stats. 21 passes for four against, which is quite key in attack. But then also in defence, Portugal 100% defence record at the moment. Well, looking back at the last time they met each other, that was in the, the Gold Coast, start of this uh, World Series. Argentina won 26 nil. Different story now, 12 nil to Portugal leading. Careless, careless. Slipping, maybe the... Uh, oh. studs, maybe not long enough, because it's a much softer surface after all that rain last night. Mushka, the, the bear, the mascot of the Rugby World Cup sevens here in Moscow. A real chance. Interesting, they're lining up behind them, the three back players. Driving on is Betancourt, four, me four metres from the line, and the penalty here as well. Argentina is starved of position and possession. Portuguese is looking a lot, lot hungrier in this game at the moment, both attack and defence. But key that Argentina try and keep them out now before the half. Pedro Leal, they are made a nice little switch move here, and this is Betancourt. Surely must be for Moreira, number three. Try number three for Duarte Moreira in the first half of this game. What a start by Portugal. This was, this was clever thinking by Portugal. They, they, they recognised that it wasn't on to take the quick tap, so just slow it down. You've got possession, and they've utilised it well and created the overlap on the outside by using runners coming back and holding the defence. 
17 to nil. What a start by Portugal. Half time then. And what on earth is Andres Romagnoli, the coach of Argentina, going to say? The man who was a superb player as a sevens player. The conversion is just missed. So it stays at 17 nil. Three tries and one conversion. 17 to nil. Argentina leave Portugal at half time. And a hat trick for that man, Duarte Moreira from Belenenses. Well, yesterday we saw Argentina romped over Hong Kong 47 to 7. Different story this day. I remember Argentina, the runners-up last time when they lost to Wales in the final, although they beat them in the pool over Wales, turned round in the final. Portugal, well, they've been in four times in the Rugby World Cup sevens, and the best they've done was in the plate final in 2005, and they lost to Samoa. But they're confident, aren't they? Well, it's key for Portugal that they don't rest on this lead. Now they need to come out as though this is the start of the game and try and build on it. On the other hand, with Argentina, I think they've been stunned. They're not quite sure what's going on. But seven minutes to sevens, 17 points is very gettable. They've just got to start to control the possession that they haven't had in this game. Do you think, do you think the effect it, it was that first try by Moreira in the first minute of the game? It is. Just shock them. Often it often it, it goes Vamos against Argentina. you, and I think Argentina are thinking that wasn't as we wanted it to plan out. But they've just got to draw it back in now. They're a quality side. We know they can score tries, and if they keep this ball, they can put themselves right back in this game. It's possible. We've seen that many a time. 17-0 down. It's not over yet. Possession then by De La Fuente. Careless though. Garrido. There's the knock on. And that's just what Portugal wanted. Put into the scrum. Argentina just hesitant at the moment. Unfortunately, I think they probably didn't really get the advantage that they had off the kickoff. Um, but you've got to use it. And I think at the moment they're looking more for contact than trying to spread the ball and spread this defence. Pedro Leal, who's played 39 times in the series of the IRB Sevens. Perhaps a chance here, set by Gaston Rival in to Cruz. Don't know why Brizone didn't start the captain. I thought he was the outstanding player yesterday in the win over Hong Kong. They often, I think certain teams, they look to try and rest their playmakers in certain games, but I don't think this was the right game at the moment. <laughs> I think maybe he's either injured, so he's not being able to utilise him. Glance there of Miguel Lucas from Cascais. One of the teenagers in the side, student. Number nine, number nine. Changes coming on now for Argentina, and they certainly need something. Javier Rosas has come on. There he is. Relative new player coming on as scrum half. Only played two times this season. Contrast there with Leal alongside him. Oh, Moreira's have a dreaming day, isn't he? Away now by Leal. Miranda. That's okay. 
And a chance here for Argentina to bring one back. Garrido. Anibal Garrido. One of the two brothers in this Argentina seven. Well, that will give them a little bit of heart. It's a good example of Argentina doing what they do best, which is making a mess of the breakdown and ball coming out and pouncing on it. They need this kick to go over for the extra points. But no success. But the difference is 12. So two conversions of two tries can do them. So a bit of tension now for Portugal as well. Four minutes to go. Popcorn, Pedro Leal from Direto. Had a spell with the uh, 15s game and the brief game. Good effort there by Argentina, but no, he held on too long. Yeah, there's the problem. Referee James McPhail gives penal penalty to uh, Portugal. Once they've got the turnover, they need to start moving the ball away from that contact area. Using up the time, uh, Portugal. Can't blame them for that either. But Argentina get a try back then, there'll be tension. It's probably a good way to use up the time, but also get a bit of energy back in the body and the legs with the heat out there at the moment. The youngster's player of Portugal comes in, 18-year-old Jose Ferreira. Father well-known international 15 for Portugal. And another one who's new in this season. Good elusive by Duarte Moreira. Well, he'll be the hero if Portugal win this one. Here he goes again, inspired at the moment. But it's with Argentina again, and the chance here, perhaps two to one. Still have it by Cruz. Good support, but uh, an overlap here, surely. There must be a try on for Argentina here. Into the corner, and there's the try. De La Fuente brings it back, and it's not over yet for Portugal. There's the second try for Argentina. Brings them within seven points, and the conversion still to come. Argentina being a bit more clever with the ball there, they, they kept it away from contact and when they, they knew the space was out wide when they actually got it there. But the key for me also was the way that the player in the midfield straightened first to hold in those defenders to make sure that overlap was used to the best of its advantage. Well, how important are these conversions? Sometimes Argentina two tries but no conversions. Portugal only one conversion of their three tries. And remember, of course, if it should be... Uh, try and conversion by Argentina to level it 17 all that's how it would end with a draw in this pool round well here's real real tension now for both teams Adarito Estevez has just come on one and a half minutes to go time enough certainly Gaston Raval it's going to be a uh, is it a scrummage or is it, I think it was a knock-on? Yep. On the 10-metre line of Portugal here. One minute to go. Argentina have to put in. Rojas. Nice uh, loop. No 
though. It was a careless ball picked up by Estevez. This could be the chance for Portugal just to use up the time. We've got 30 seconds and there's a break as well. And it's going to be David Metius. Will he get to the corner? Goes to the corner. Good tackle coming in in the corner. But support is there with Vareta. But the referee has said no. Look, the ball is in touch. Quick throw in. Not quite got the legs to finish it. That would have been... Game over it. for Argentina. David Matthews, the 33-year-old who's played uh, through 11 seasons for Portugal International Sevens. The hooter sounds. It's all one last chance for Argentina. They have the throw in. Just five minutes from five uh, min uh, meters from their goal line. Now or never. Remember Portugal losing to England. Argentina beating Hong Kong. Adorito Estevez. It's going to be a penalty. Chance again still for Argentina. Remember, they were the runners-up in the last World Cup sevens. They're in danger here if they lose to Portugal. They have England next to play. Portugal have Hong Kong. Lucas. Oh, it's gone into the hands of uh, Adorito Estevez. He's going to scamp. Is he going to right the way through? Into the hands of uh, De Almeida. The ball with Oliveira, the captain. And a penalty. That's it for Portugal. The seven minutes is up of the second half. And this can just be kicked into touch. And this is going to be a very, very important win for Portugal here. What a game. Argentina had the opportunity at the end, ball in hand, but for me, they took too much contact in that game. They keep the ball away. The Portuguese were ferocious on the floor.